Welcome to the computer motherboard design project in SketchUp. So we are going to be building a 3D model uh, based on the motherboard that uh, we looked at in class uh, to make sure you get that this is not going to be very difficult because the color, the size and the location of all the items, they don't have to be exact. You don't have to measure it. Not all the items have to be shown. So this is the art of looking drawing and simplifying um, and these are the items that we talked about in class uh, we're going to try and make sure that we show these and label them too now if you look at um, um, the motherboard that we saw this is a picture of the one that we have in class uh, we have a couple of these in class for you to look at and you can draw them on paper but you can see all the uh, connectors that we see at the back of a computer, the mouse and the um, keyboard connectors, and then all the slots for the cards where the CPU goes inside. And uh, this is the, the view from the top. So we're going to try and draw this without uh, drawing everything. And uh, we're going to use SketchUp for that. So let's go ahead to SketchUp. And as you can see, that was kind of a rectangle. So we're going to start with a rectangle. And uh, again, we're not looking at sizes, so I'm just making a rectangle. And because I know it's a little thick, um, it's not very thick, but I want to show that it's 3D. So I'm just going to make it a little bit higher. Uh, and then I can start drawing. So we know that we need to draw the important pieces. So um, so we can make sure that this is what we have. Let's go back one more time and just quickly look at that uh, picture. You are going to be looking at the picture that you have drawn. So as you see, there's the CPU that we need to do, which is a, the outside box. And then there's a CPU itself that goes in here. This is the socket where the CPU goes in. And these blue things for the RAM, where are the slots where the RAM goes in. So we need two of these, and we need five of these for the other cards, and we have this. So we can try and draw this much first to start. Um, so let's go back again. And I would want to make sure you understand that to, to be good at SketchUp, you need to make sure you are positioned yourself so you can see everything. Um, I don't think we need this person, right? So let's go ahead and click on the selection tool, click on him and hit delete on the keyboard and now we're going to try and draw the the uh, CPU it looks a bit like a square and I can zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and you can draw the CPU inside which would be another rectangle you can use the offset tool here if you want and you can draw a rectangle that fits inside now, just to show that this is something different from the board, I'm going to raise that a little bit. That's the way the, the socket of the uh, um, CPU goes, and that is our CPU. And now we can go ahead and draw uh, maybe the two slots we had for the RAM. So I'm drawing one slot by drawing a long skinny rectangle. And then I want to copy this. So the best way to copy is before you have uh, done anything like raising it. It's still 2D. So I want to click on my selection and select it. You get these little dots and this is the move tool right next to the push and pull that lets you move things. Now instead of moving I want it to copy and if you look at the bottom it says option equal copy. So go ahead and press the option key and you get a little plus next to it which means if you click now it actually copies it. That gives you two of them. And now I want to raise this. And this is another little trick. If you go back and if I raise this, so I want to go ahead and raise this up. I want to raise the other one the same amount. So if you just double click, it remembers how much and comes back to the same one. Oops, that's not what I wanted because it raised the entire board. So let me go ahead and undo that. Now let me see, and the reason I was having a hard time is because I was being a little lazy about um, turning myself around. So let's go back here and let me see if it still works. So I want to just do a double click and there you are. So these two are the same amount. So now we can do the same thing and go ahead and draw the uh, extension cards that we talked about. 
and there's going to be five of those so I will let you uh, figure out how to copy those and now I'm going to go to the other side of my uh, CPU and I'm going to use my pen tool here just move it a bit a little bit and I want to draw what is the pen the connectors to all the keyboard and mouse and all those things so just to make sure we know what we're talking about I'm talking of this stuff over here okay so it's kind of raised above a mouse keyboard and uh, you have a drawing you have the actual thing in front of you so this gets a little easier so we're going to go ahead and try and draw those and for those I'm going to draw myself a little rectangle here and raise it because I know it's going to be a little bit higher and I know this is where I'm going to put in the mouse and the keyboard and those connectors are the circles with the chance of bringing in a circle. Now I'm trying to draw this and you can see this is not working out right and the reason is it's too small and I'm not able to get much done so again let me undo that and make sure I always move uh, zoom in do whatever it takes to make sure you can really see what's going on and it's much much easier to draw it when it's when it's the size that you want so one more time how do we copy you click on the selection tool click on the item you want to copy click on the move tool and make sure this is moving right now you're going to press the option key and it says at the bottom in case you forget the option on the Mac um, is not the command key and not the control key, it's the different key option. And while it's pressed, it gives me a little plus sign. And oops, I lifted that up, so that didn't work again. So let me make sure we go back and undo that. And again, I'm going to press the option key and then I go down. Here's another cool thing. If I go this way, you can see the line is dotted is red. But if I go straight down, the line is blue and it's right below because you see this is the blue axis so this is going along the blue axis and these two things have been completely lined up now I could pull these out but I actually think I want to push that in so one clever way is to just go to the outside of it so let me go to make sure I select this so make sure I'm talking out and then I can go ahead and click on this and pull that out so that gives you what I was looking at. So this could be the mouse and the keyboard. Now I'm not going to finish the project. I'm going to go ahead and start labeling just to show you what I want. So here you are. You click on the text tool and when you click on this and go here, it's actually telling you the square footage of that little square there. But we don't want to say that. We want to say that that is our CPU. So we can just type over that CPU. Similarly, this is going to be these two items are going to be the slots for the the ram or the memory so if you want to make sure we have that again we want both of these you can click on this and bring it up here and then maybe we can just erase that and see if that works oops that doesn't work well think of that well let's uh, that's okay if you just label one and then for this one we're saying that this is going to be the uh, mouse or connector to the mouse or the mouse connector okay, and this one is going to be the connector oh, I think I did that wrong oh I clicked on this so you to make sure you click on the right one it's a text tool and you want to click inside this and say this is going to be the keyboard connector. If you've drawn it correctly from the actual item or if you can walk over and see it then you know and of course we want to make sure we label the main person the main thing in this which is this item itself and that is our motherboard. Okay so that's not completely done but uh, you're getting the idea of what we're looking for and now one of the things that would be fun to do is to actually let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on and I could color this and here comes the fun we can use the paint bucket and we are definitely not going to have to color it the same colors that they have we can we can color it any of fun colors that we think will be fun um, 
If I was designing a motherboard, what colors would I pick? Huh, that would be fun. Maybe I'll pick a nice bright orange color. Uh, for some reason, they turn, tend to be green and purple. It'd be cool to find out. So we can go ahead and color them the way you want. And you can start um, having a little fun here. Make it look as pretty as you want. And go ahead and finish these up. And once you're done with your project, you're going to have to um, zoom out, make sure you see the best view of your project and everything is visible. Uh, you can take the axes off so these little lines are gone and you can see your entire project. So of course this is not finished but if you finish it and then you say file export as a 2D graphic and then you're going to make it an image, a 2D image and you can put in your name and you want to make all files start with your first name and then the name of the project. So we're going to say first name, motherboard, it's a JPEG, that's an image file. And that's going to get created on the desktop and it will look like this. So I hope you're going to have fun and that is the, com the computer motherboard design project.